The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Knock, knock. Who's there? Jerry Brown PR. Does telling your story get, so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? You need to know Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. Well, Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every week at this time with a tip to help to help us tell to help you tell your story. You've got me thinking your joke is... Two guys walked into a bar, and Jerry Brown was one of them. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thank you. Today's tip is to ignore Eric, and if, if, if you're making a presentation and you think you have to have an opening joke for that presentation or that speech, my advice is that most of the time what you want to do is skip the joke and concentrate on connecting with your audience. Oh, now, Jerry, I think there's a, there's a lot of other... There's a lot of... Um teaching out there for professional presenters that it's a good icebreaker to tell a joke. That's how you start. And, and you can see when Eric started, it completely derailed me. I'm so good. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep all your right. Day, keep your day job, I'm Eric. listening. I'm listening. Yeah. Well, and actually, you know, I spent 17 years with U.S. West, now CenturyLink, on the corporate PR staff. And more than half that time, I was a speechwriter for two phone company presidents and CFO and because I had that job, I was all, I mean, every week at least one person would either call me or drop in my office because I knew I was a speechwriter and they were giving a speech somewhere and they would say, I have to have a joke because mm. I'm giving a speech tomorrow. And they were desperate. And I would say, okay, I, you know, I had plenty of joke books and had lots of jokes and things. And I said, so what do you, would you like it to be about? And they said, I don't care. I just need to tell a joke because they had been told you open a speech uh, yeah. with a joke. Right. And, you know, if you're a really good joke teller, if you have a joke that makes the point you want to make in your speech, right. then sure, open with a good joke. But most, most of the people time, aren't. most of us are not good joke tellers. Yeah, and it and has nothing to do with the with the topic. Or... Exactly. And so your audience is sort of sitting there, okay, you, yeah. you told this joke to break the ice, but now you got to start over because it wasn't about what you were talking about. And so your audience is a little confused. Mm. You know, what you really want to do, and the whole point of that icebreaker joke, and as you say, it is an icebreaker, is really about connecting emotionally with your audience. And so focus on that. Concentrate on on connecting with your audience. If that involves a good joke or if it involves humor without jokes during the course of your speech, that's great. But, you know, if you just keep in mind that the people that are there to hear you are living, breathing human beings... And you focus on connecting with that level. You know, just say hello to them if you want. When you start to speak, look at them, engage them. Don't give them a speech. Talk to them. Oh, that, that makes all kinds of difference. Yes, it does. Because then you're having a conversation. And particularly if, and if you had, if what you're doing lends itself to inviting comments or questions from the audience, do it. But look at them. You know, connect with them. Don't spend all your time reading your notes or, worse yet, reading your slides. Yes, yes. We, we talked about the, the death by PowerPoint um, a couple weeks ago. That was an incredibly great advice, Jerry. And this one, I think, is is I'm hoping it puts our listeners at ease because there's a lot of pressure to come on and, and tell a joke. And we do find that often it's inappropriate or it's not related or doesn't lend to, lend to the talk. Well, and, you know, one of the things that I have found that people, you know, we've all experienced this, the thing is that somebody shows up and they tell this joke that they either told to their buddies at lunch or heard mm. from one of their buddies at lunch or someplace, and they just think it's really funny, but it's kind of inappropriate because it's off color. Right. And, you know, yeah. it makes some ethnic group or some other group the butt of the joke, and you know what? You're going to turn your audience off, and it probably isn't nearly as funny as you think it is anyway. That's probably true. That is probably true. And so opening it with hello, we can do that. Absolutely. And the other thing to keep in mind is because one of the things that one of the thing one of the reasons why people are so afraid of speaking in public is they think I cannot make a mistake. Mm-hmm. You know what? We make mistakes all the time. If your audience is interested in what you have to say, they're on your side. And if you're human with your mistakes, you know, just 
Just move on. Well, I can tell you. I blew that one. That, you know, let me let me say that again. I said it wrong. Yeah, they don't want to trade places with you. That's for sure. They're happy to be oh, on the absolutely. audience side versus on the on the presenter side. So if you, if you can connect with them and just be real, I think they're far more grateful to know that you're the one up on the stage and not them. Well, but they also, you know, we all like being around other people that we know are real. Right. Mm -hmm. And if your audience understands that you're real, they will like you. And they will, they'll, they'll understand that what you have to say is worth hearing. And if you can, if you can convince your audience of those two things, that you're likable and trustworthy and have something worth saying, the rest of it's window dressing. You bet. What a treasure trove uh, for for all of us uh, with Jerry Brown PR. You know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. <laughs> well, keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write your speeches, your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, power presentations, and more. He can also also edit what you've already written. You can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com. Or you can always give him a call at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Drop the jokes. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.